This is Joe which is astrophoto.com and if you've watched any of my previous videos or follow me on social media you'll know that I've been waiting for an Edge HD8. Well, it's finally here. Here it is, the Celestron Edge HD8. It's got a focal length of 2032 millimeters. It's got an aperture of 203 millimeters for uh, an f-stop of f10. In it, the current configuration that I have it in now, I've got a 0.7 Celestron focal reducer on it to speed it up to an f7. And that drops the focal length down to 1422 which is still really good for getting a lot of the galaxies. But I always have the option of removing the focal reducer and shooting it at F10 at 2032 millimeters. The way I have it set up now is with the ZWO EAF attached to the focuser. I did need to purchase a separate part, the bracket that attaches it, and hopefully I'll have a video on that later. It's also got the 0.7 reducer on it, the Celestron OAG, coupled with a ZWO 174mm Mini for guiding and then the ZWO eight position filter wheel with 1.25 inch filters and the ZWO ASI 294MM Pro mono camera. So I wanted to focus in on the Celestron OAG. It's very impressive. Um, it's huge compared to the ZWO OAG that I was thinking about getting, but I think that's a good thing. The prism is quite a bit larger and it allows me to put on a much more sensitive uh, ASI 174mm mini camera um, and not deal with vignetting in the guide scope. So, if you loosen this bolt and this bolt, you're able to move your filter wheel and camera in any direction that you'd like. So you almost have um, a built-in manual rotator. Um, if you loosen the, the top two screws up here, then you could move the actual OAG around in case you end up with uh, not too many stars in your field for guiding, you're able to to slightly move this from side to side. And of course I've got the uh, electronic focuser in the way so I can't go too far over. But uh, I had a test run last night, first time, and it didn't seem that I needed to move anything. Um, if you use these two um, thumb screws here, you can move the camera in and out to achieve the correct back focus. The back focus of your guide camera needs to match exactly the back focus of your camera. So what I did was, is that after I achieved the correct back focus, I focused the camera and then I went ahead and focused the guide cam on the top. And that seemed to work perfectly. I was getting guiding numbers between 0.5 and 0.7 total RMS. I did achieve 0.4 a couple times, but I couldn't get it to stay that way. The Celestron 0.7 reducer is pretty large and heavy in and of itself. As a matter of fact, the entire um, setup is very back-end heavy 
and I needed to order um, this counterweight to go on top of the dove bar in the front so that I can balance it out. Right now, I've got the scope a little or dangerously, in my opinion, high up in the saddle. When I go to remove the focal reducer to shoot at 2032 millimeters, um, I need to get a T adapter, I believe, that goes from the telescope to the OAG. I also upgraded my saddle from the um, stock EQ6R Pro saddle to this ADM saddle. Um, there's actually no, the other one, the plate would ride up a little bit and in this, there, everything is flush and even and it's making it a lot easier to place the scope in. The other one had a texture on it and this one is smooth and it's very well built. Uh, well machined made out of aluminum and here you could see what I was saying earlier where this is really heavy in the back so what I need to do is push this up and it's up further than I'd like it to be and I'm still not getting a perfect deck balance because I don't really want to push this up any further but I think it'd have to come all the way up to maybe this this first thumb screw to get it in perfect balance so it's quite a bit off at the moment um, and I think that I can get much better guiding numbers once I can get this more in balance. So I've ordered a weight that goes on the dovetail bar here that'll help to counteract that. I've also got um, a dew shield coming so that I don't get any star shine from the sides. So that's pretty much it for the Edge HD8. Uh, I'm super excited. I could hardly wait to use it. I'm going to be sharing a lot more videos with you guys on uh, some close-ups of galaxies and nebula in the next coming months. So that's super exciting. If you have any questions about anything that I've covered or why I went a certain direction, please drop them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please smash that like button for me. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next video.